Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the filled graph chart in the infographics After Effects template. So let's get started in the project panel. Let's go to folder number three, uh, labeled filled graph. And we're going to double click on the filled graph composition. And this is a composition that you would want to render if you were rendering these charts out um, in their own separate movies. And you would also want to change your main text in this composition. And to do that, you can just select any of the text layers and you'll see this capital T symbol in the timeline, which indicates that this, uh, that your layer is a text layer. And you can just double click that and your text will become highlighted, which means it is editable. And you can type your text. To change that text font or color, you'll want to go to your character panel. And if you don't have that open, you can go to window and then select character. And we can change that font if we want to. And we can change the colors. And you can change your size in here as well. And let's change that color back to white. And now to change our graph, we can either double click the filled graph settings composition layer, this nested composition um, in the timeline. You can go ahead and do that. Click twice, double click to open. And in this graph, we only have two color controls set up, one for the actual graph color and the other one for the graph lines and numbers. So this is where you want to change the colors for your graph. That's awful. Let's change that. <laughs> if you wanted to do something different, there we go. And this background grid is just there for reference. It is a guide layer. If you right click, you'll see that guide layer is selected. If you deselect that, the grid will become visible in your final render. But if you don't want the guide, uh, if you don't want that grid to show up, but you do want to see it as a reference, just make sure that the guide layer is selected and you'll see this little um, grid icon which shows that it is a guide layer. And to change this line graph, all we're going to do is select the filled graph layer, which is the very, very last layer in our, in our layer stack in the timeline. And we're just going to select these mask vertex points and move them up and down manually. Now, if you wanted to select a group of these, you would just click anywhere in your composition viewer and drag. And you can move a whole entire set. And we're just going to kind of remove this randomly. But there are um, 20 data sets here. Now, if you had less than that, you can just drag and select the ones you don't want and delete them drag and select the rest of our points here, double click so that this group of points becomes, uh, you can transform them. So let's move them all over and stretch them out. There we go. So if you only, that's if you only had um, a few data sets, depending on um, what you want. And to change any of these numbers on the grid, you'll just, um, they're just text layers. So if you double click, those become editable if you needed to change that. Same for the Y axis. If we go back to our filled graph composition, you'll see that our data has been updated and our colors have been updated as well. Mm -hmm. 